Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video. We finally have enough Azeroth that I can speed my barrack to level 40 and by that I will be able to start recruiting tier 13 units. I have been working for this for a very long time now. I said it in my last video when I finished my C40. It was now close to two years and now we are at the point that we can finally start with it. So and how I approach these things is actually pretty simple because I have the Azerit to speed my barrack now and I know that the building time of the barrack is equal to the recruitment time that I'm actually saving. So this is why I have absolutely no problem with speeding the whole duration of my barrack because I know it is equal to the recruitment time that I'm saving. So those are actually converted speeds from building speeds to recruitment speeds. And this is why we will definitely go for it. So for the start, we will have to finish the tier 12 units that we're still recruiting. We are missing 18 Azerite and especially for that I have one Azerite chest left, 87, that is very low, but okay. So we have everything and we also need to finish this iron mine that I was upgrading and luckily I also have the engineer title, I applied for it and what I can also do is I can equip my chaos bracelet which gives additional building speed too. Sadly I don't have any other gear parts that increase my building speed, at least I think so. So yeah, I would say we get going. Those are 10 days that I'll be speeding and let's go. First of all we will let some helps sink in and just for your information, what I'll be doing now is I will be equipping my recruitment gear and will show you guys at which speed or with which recruitment speed up I can recruit a tier 13 unit. All right, so, and I will show the promotion. So the difference between those times, we will let some help sink in and so we can quickly speed up these recruitments here and then as soon as we have finished those barracks we can start with it and yeah I would say let's not wait any longer and let's do it. My recruitment speed up is currently at 187.4% and with that we will check out now how long it will take us to recruit tier 13 units. All right so let's go. There we have it, all right. Also a nice symbol above because we are probably now getting introduced to tier 13. Quickly open this Christmas gift here and we got heating speed ups and let's check it out. All right, unlock new level, Royal Infantry Marshal, Royal Wings Cavalry Marshal, Royal Archer Captain and Imperial Mage Captain. Great, finally. And just a quick reminder for you guys, I often get asked about, yeah, what sh where should I invest my Azeroth, like technology or should I go with um, castle level? And don't forget the simple fact that better troops bring better base stats. So that is actually also a technology improvement. And by that you get an advantage too. Sure, if you go for things like Mystic College where you unlock very unique abilities for your units. This is a great advantage too, don't get me wrong on that. But this is one of the simple arguments why I like to go for castle level and unlock new tier units. So, and now we can check it out. So this is the new window. And also something that I would recommend to players that just unlocked a new tier. Many people say, you, yeah, you immediately have to recruit frontline and in my opinion that is a bad advice or not the correct advice because I just know it for myself as a free-to-play player that it was always very helpful for me to go for the backline unit to get the damage units first to perform better in events like the Evil Tyrant or in the Undead King just for the fact that they are dealing more damage and damage is very relevant for a lot of different events so you get an immediate advantage out of your troops and they are most likely 
to survive way longer than your front line because your front line always gets hit first and you always have the chance that if your back line is about to get hit you can still retreat and save some of your very precious uh, troops that you just got new and that are also taking a lot of time to recruit so what we are going to compare now is the recruitment time for one tier 13 mage i need one minute and 35 seconds and if i would promote one of my tier 11 mages it would take me one minute and 17 seconds so a total difference of 18 seconds in between that keep that in mind guys that the promotion is always faster than the actual recruitment sure you need to um, secure that you have the lower tier available so that you have units to promote but depending on how you play that shouldn't be a problem in my opinion so what i'll do now is i will go and recruit some mages then i will also recruit some cavalry but i won't speed them yet because this is another advice of mine just because you unlocked a new tier just don't go straight into it and speed recruit all of them because with my current recruitment gear i'm not at the maximum recruitment speed up that i can possibly be just because of the fact that if i will bring up my blacksmith to level 40 i'll be able to forge some new gear and here the dragon tooth necklace will give me another recruitment speed up by 17.5 percent and before i would speed any troops i want to make sure that i have this one or for example what we also did in another video i at least remember like that that i have re um, recasted some enhancements and here on my chest that i will still be using as long as i play infantry with the infantry defense enhancement here i've already found recruitment speed up by 7.9 percent which i will save at the point when i will be starting to speed promote troops but until then i know okay before I will speed any troops, I will first make sure to have the best recruitment speed up that I have. And that also includes like going for the Grand Duke title that gives you 6% recruitment speed up. Or waiting until we are in a time window where I will also have the advantage of the National Recruitment buff, which, you, which increases the recruitment speed up by 26%. When you unlock a new tier, try to find a time window and a time frame where you have all of these buffs at a point that you get the maximum out of your speeds and by that a lot of troops all right guys so for the moment we will uh, i will just recruit few for the start because i also need them to make a new thumbnail for this video but just for the start this is actually it we are doing tier 13 now and I'm really excited when I have my first few marches of those units so I can show you how they perform when I have done the switch to cavalry as a frontline unit. Thank you guys for staying around and celebrating this special moment with me. And then I would say see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.